So as promised, I thought I'd show you my hot sauce collection for those of you that are um, interested. Uh, this is cabinet number one. This is the second time I've had to shoot this video because it was too blurry earlier on. So this has got um, a range of sauces for anything from Burns and McCoy, their hottest sauces, to Hellfire sauces, to the last dab. Uh, there's a, a couple of little extracts in there as well. Um, I'll show you some more of those in a minute. Yeah, we've got uh, the Wiltshire Farm sauces there. Okay, apologies, it's a little bit dark in this corner, but the, the, the light's giving a lot of glare off these bottles, so uh, I want to keep it like this because otherwise it just goes blurry. It's the Hellboy range there from the new Hellboy film uh, by Hellfire Sauces. Um, they get hotter and hotter, it's ridiculous. Uh, we've got some boxes, uh, you know, sort of gift boxes of stuff from uh, Hot Heads and uh, that sort of person, the Chili Alchemist as well. We have here a signed bottle um, by Mr. Smoking Ed Curry himself, Puckabut. And it is a signed bottle, there's his autograph there. That is the man who developed the Carolina Reaper. It's in a bit of it on the wall. Starting to go blurry again. Here we go, there's a better shot of that. Yeah, that cost me a few quid. About 30 quid to be more frank about that. Okay, we've got all of the last tabs. All four of them there. Um, we've got Regret. Somebody asked me if I had it. Yep, God Slayer as well over there. Let's move down to this shelf. Okay, let's try and get a better. I'm actually sitting on the box at the moment. So we've got um a lot of the uh burns and mccoy uh bad boy sauces they're at the back here i'll just uh move some of these out of the way these are like ones you would have seen johnny scoville and um all that doing reviews on Okay, now these sauces are really, really, really severely hot. Okay, now down here on the bottom, apart from a couple of gimmicky things here, um, we've got Mad Dogs, they're original labels. They uh, reissued the, the labelling um, on some old recipes. I got those last year. There's a few bits at the back there. I don't know whether you can see the grenade. Let's pull, it, pull this out and show you. I've got a few of these general hot sauces uh, they come in a grenade form okay right believe it or not the actual filming of this is not as bad as the first video let's move over to cabinet number two all right let's get the focus in there we go okay this one uh, this cabinet means a bit more business so on the top shelf we've got some hot sauces um we've like um five brave and idiot ted barris his hot sauce um we've got another couple of hellfire ones here that doomed is uh johnny scoville claims it's the hottest sauce on the planet 6.66 million scoville units at the back here we have um the mad dog series these will like claim that they're, well, this one is the highest, I think, sauce they do. Regarding sauce, I don't know if you can see. The Scoville on there, but I'll tell you anyway. It's, they reckon it's 750,000. Oh no, that's not the highest one. Who's that back, at the back there, we've got the Blair's range in those boxes. Scorpion sauce, nice Carolina Reaper sauce there. Beautiful bottle. They do cost a few quid. This mad dog here. Oh yes. That other one was the highest. This is six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand Scoville units. There's a little they cut they come with a little spoon in this like bullet type thing for tasting. At the back there. One of the hottest things on the planet. Plutonium nine. 9 million Scoville extract in that little bottle there. 
Uh, seen a couple of people drink the whole bottle, but literally a pinprick of that will uh, do a complete number on you. Moving down, so more. Let's come back a bit. Like seeing more extracts. Very expensive at the back there. We have the sauce. That's about 7.2 million uh, Scoville extract. That is my, my most expensive uh, item in these cab cabinets. It's about 95 quid for the sauce. Still sealed up. And let's move this out of the way. And that sauce looks like it's going bad. It's just really there for extra display. So we've got the uh, Psycho Arts. As you can see. Move this forward. Um, Psycho Slayer, that's 9 million extract in that beautiful little wooden box there. And over at the back, we've got Psycho Juice in another beautiful wooden box. Nice for the collection. Okay, we've got also Mad Dog Extracts. Now, yeah. well, we've got the end which my friend just bought for me from uh, Pepper Palace in America. Um, this bad boy here, it's another e extract. Look at that. Let's come in this way, 30 million Scovilles. 13 million. Uh, Psycho Drops, Psycho Serum, all extracts. Okay, moving down here. Let's come back a minute and get a focus in on that. Right, we have the uh, five minute burn, 10 minute burn, 20 minute burn, the 10 minute burn. Excuse me, why not just adjust myself? The 10 minute burn one was actually um, banned from a lot of uh, chili sauce um, festivals and that when it came out. But they did bring out the 20 minute burn. So we've got some uh, severely hot uh, pucker butt stuff here. These are like pepper mashes in a bottle. He doesn't put a lot of uh, ingredients uh, smoking their curry. He uses uh, mainly peppers vin and vinegar. Here we've got uh, Satan's, I might as well say it, Satan's shit. Yep, um, that's like a paste in this thing here. We've got, um, in those uh, cartridges there, those, um, I don't know what they are, like shotgun cartridges, aren't they? Um, they've got um, chili extracts in each one, a vial of extract in each one, and they go up to the highest you can get. That is 16 million Scoville heat units. 16 million. At the back there, another one there. was big when it come out it actually comes in a grenade um, a metal grenade um, I'd say magnetic grenade I'm not gonna bother taking it out of the box there's a vial inside it with 9 million Scoville um, resin inside it okay bottom shelf let's take a try it all together so we've got stuff like uh, gator sauce, which um, I don't know why they call it sauce. Again, from Pucker Butt. It's made with pepper X mash, basically. Um, I do have another bottle of it, and I'm going to do a video one day with it. It's going to be gnarly as hell, that. Um, and over here, we've got Chocolate Plague. Um, you see me do... No, Chris did a review on it, but I did... Um, use it in um i think it was the world's hottest wings um and then over here dragon's breath which is made from the uh dragon's breath um pepper which is the hottest pepper in the uk um and i uh, and just in here is at the back well sort of in the middle there we've got more seriously hot hellfire sauces there okay Let's show you a better shot of them. Well, there you go. Um, don't think there's 
anymore i mean i would have to pull all this out you know to show you show you more i don't intend to do that but anyway that's my hot sauce collection these are ones that i keep in the display cabinets um just stand up now no, i keep in the display cabinets um just because i you know i'm, I'm crazy about this stuff and um some people collect very expensive wines i collect hot sauce um I'd like to see uh, a collection better than this, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I know there's a guy in America who's got one hell of a collection. He has got thousands and thousands of bottles of hot sauce. Um, but, you know, if anyone else has got a collection, I'd like to see it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, if you like the videos, like, share, subscribe. And... Um, if you want to leave a comment for me, you can leave a comment in the comments area and I'll get back to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like being nosy and having a little look at my what I've been up to. Um, yes, I also have several boxes of uh, goodies uh, to get through yet, um, which are for my consumption and to make YouTube videos with. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. I've been TJ Bones. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.